the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a hit, with a tip to help us tell our story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And today's tip is to start your story by making us want to know more about it. Uh, you know, last week... I we wish were, you'd tell me more about this, Jerry. <laughs> well, last week we were talking and you asked me at some point... Does your lead have to include, you know, the who and the what and the where and the why and the right. when and all those things? And what I told you at the time was, well, actually, usually it just needs to include the what. But the reality is it may include all of those things or it may not include any of them because your lead really only has one job. And that is to grab our attention just long enough that we want to stick around to hear what you have to say. Yes, I like that. And so, you know, you can surprise us, you can intrigue us, you can rouse our curiosity, you can shock us if you want. Whatever you do with your lead, what you really want to do is make it, make us want to know more. And that's its only job. You know, it's an important job and it's kind of a show off. It's kind of a tease. But, uh, you know, grabbing our attention long enough to get us to pay attention to what you have to say. If it does that, be grateful for a job well done. And let it go. Don't try to get it to do too much, or frankly, it may not do its job at all. You know, this is, this is kind of like our first uh, opening segment in the show. Is is the, it's all all designed to kind of give you a little tease about uh, the personalities behind the uh, the business talk. Yeah, absolutely, I love that. Absolutely, and you know, and I, even as you're talking, Jerry, I am thinking about when I'm scrolling through the internet, scrolling through Facebook or or Twitter. And if something captures me, then I will click on it to right. read more. But most of it doesn't. You exactly. Know? Most of it just is just fodder. And that's the problem, you know, because a lot of people struggle with they mm -hmm. don't understand um, that they've got to grab our attention. Because the reality is, you know, all of us have all these zillions of messages flying at us every day. Mm -hmm. And while my story is really important to me, to the rest of the world, it's just one of those zillions of messages flying by. And so unless there's a reason for it to grab everybody else's attention, or at least some people's attention, and get them to go, oh, that's interesting enough. I think I'll check it out. All right. So, so Jerry, while I know I need to, do you have any tips for how to? Yeah, I mean, there a lot of different ways. I mean, there really are no set rules because that's going to make it boring. But there are four kind of things that, that seem to work well. So if you're kind of playing around in those four areas, you probably are doing well. And one of them is really kind of the traditional, uh, start what I call the Sergeant Friday approach. You know, just the facts, ma'am, nothing oh, but yeah. the facts. And actually, back in the days when I was in a newsroom and when people read newspapers and relied on newspapers <laughs> right. for most of their news, that was actually the, by far the most common lead that was done because it, you, you relied on the news itself being unusual enough or interesting enough that that alone would carry the story. Yeah, it's and, pretty much gone by the wayside now, the whole facts thing. Well, you know, because a lot of that news people already know about. I mean, for example, the Broncos, you know, people, nobody picks up the newspaper on Monday morning to find out who won the game. Everybody kind of knows that. Right. Most of the people, have, you know, a lot of the people who care have already seen the game, so they make the stories softer. But, Amen. you know, if you have a, you know, if, if for example, if, if I were a journalist writing a leader, if I had a story to tell that was the equivalent of, you know, after a lot of years of study, scientists have found life on Mars, I don't need to dress that lead up. That's the story that's going to get heard just because sure. the facts are interesting enough. All right, all right. But a lot of stories are a little softer than that. And, in fact, back in the days when those fact-based leads were the big lead in journalism, if you had a feature story, you had to make it a little softer. And so one way to do that is to take a human interest approach, in which is to say, you know, introduce us in a way that it, you're, you're, it's like I'm going to meet somebody that I'd like to know better through your story. And, mm -hmm. you know, an example, you know, is that, you know, Joan Doe, has spent the last 43 years helping other people. And on Tuesday, there are several dozen of those people going to be on hand for her final day at work to say thank you. 
and tell her how she changed their lives yeah. forever. Now, a lot of people are going to retire on any given day. That's not a very interesting story. But Joan but sounds like back, she might. Yeah. Yeah, Joan sounds like she might be an interesting person. So I might stop and read a little bit about what she did to change all those people's lives. All right. Another one is really uh, well, just didn't ask a question in your lead. I, in fact, this was an interesting one to me because when I was a young journalist, you literally could not turn in a story that the lead was a question. They just would throw it back if at it you. If it had a question mark, it was pitched. Yeah, like, well, dumped, you just I mean, came like, back and said, you know, yeah. redo it. And I never quite understood that because I, I, opening a story with a really intriguing question, you know, most of us, if we're intrigued by the question, we're going to want to hang around to know what the answer is. Mm. And so I think that's a really good so, way to so, open a story so off. And every now and then we can throw a question in as a lead. I do it fairly often, do actually. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, so it's not, I mean, I suppose if you do it every time, it becomes, you know, it's like everything else, it becomes too predictable. But if you've got a good question, a good intriguing question, it's not a bad way to start. All right. All right. All right. All right. And finally is kind of the first person approach, which is, can be interesting but also dangerous because if you keep making yourself the hero or the heroine of your own story, I mean, the rest of the world's going to go, yeah. Sure. <laughs> but on the other hand, you know, we're told to write about the things we know best, and the things we know best are our own experiences. So, you know, like if I, you know, if I went on a hike and I said, you know, the bear stared at me and I stared back. <laughs> <laughs> and what I did next probably saved my life and it could save yours. Oh, you oh. got me. You yeah. want to know what happened next? Absolutely. I, I, you know, I wrote that. I'd like to know what happened next too cuz I just made it up as an example, but it, 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 it's kind of like, whoa, this this might be worth hanging around and reading about. That Absolutely. would be that would be pretty exciting. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for sharing your tips not only on what to do and how to capture um, their attention right away, but even giving us some tips on how. For our listeners who want an article about today's story storytelling tip and you want to follow Jerry, go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You'll also find an archive of all of his storytelling tips that Jerry shares here on his website, jerrybrownpr.com. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Jerry can also help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.